Oh, you've opened up a can of worms now. As it says in my web channel, this is how I do it. First of all, do we wash the bike before storing it? Yes. I don't go nuts with it. I don't take a toothbrush to every inch. I just use a bucket of water, I use some automotive soap, and I use a rag. Wherever my hands can reach, that's what's washed. I rinse it down with a hose, do not use a pressure washer, and I use a leaf blower to dry the bike. Works very well for cars, works on your hair, it'll work on the bike. People ask, do you wax your bike before storing it? Not me. Now I know what you're thinking, but Paul, I see waxes behind you. Yes. I have a habit of when I get on and off my bike, the soles of my boot hits the top of the saddlebag. Doesn't happen all the time, but every now and then it does. And I end up with some nice scratches on the, on the saddlebags from the sole of my boot. Whenever I get about three or four or five scratches on it, or if I'm going to go to a bike show, then I'll use the appropriate waxes and I'll remove them. But that's about it. I don't wax the fairing, I don't wax the defenders, I just wax the top of the saddlebags because that's what I hit with my boot. Fuel stabilizer in the tank. Do I use it? Yes, I do. But it doesn't run through the lines, it doesn't go through the fuel injectors, because I never know when my last ride of the season will be. I could go out there, ride, burn a tank of gas, before I get home, I stop at the local gas station and I fill it up. Um, by the time I ride home, it's a full tank of gas, because again, this may be my last ride of the season. So if it is, I'll take some fuel stabilizer and I'll put it in the tank, and that's it. So it is not in the fuel lines, it is not through the fuel injectors, it's just sitting in the tank. Good enough for me. Oil. Do I change the oil before I store it? Not likely. I change my oil when it's due to be changed. On this particular bike it's every 8,000 kilometers. I've only put on 4,000 since the last change. Am I going to change it again before I put it away? No. If I only had 1,000 kilometers left, maybe I would. That way next year when you're itching to ride, You've got the full season now, you can ride without changing it. So, in this particular instance, I am not going to change the oil before I store it. Exhaust pipes. Do I put steel wool up the exhaust pipe? Do I cover them with bags to keep out rodents? No. I live in the city. I have been here several years. I have never seen a mouse, a snake, or any other rodent coming into my garage. So, I leave them open. Do I jack up the bike for winter storage? In my case, yes I do. I don't do it to take the tension off the springs. I don't do it to make sure the wheels are not touching the ground. The only reason I put my bike up on a jack stand is so the bike is standing straight up and down, giving me more space in my garage. I have a single car garage. In the winter time, this is prime space. I have my car in here, my snowblower in here, all the trash cans. I don't have a lot of room and the bike leaning takes up more room. So I put a scissor jack underneath it and I jack it up just to keep it straight. The tires are still on the ground. Do I put wood or carpeting underneath the tires to protect them from the cement floor? Not normally, but I do have lots of wood, I do have carpeting, so just for peace of mind, I will put it underneath the tires and just leave it there for the winter. Covers. Do I cover my bike in the wintertime? Absolutely. Don't use a tarp, don't use a, a moving blanket, use a good quality motorcycle cover that breathes, that lets it, uh, lets the moisture out. You've got a machine here that's worth a lot of money. Get a good cover and put it on. It'll keep the dust, it'll keep everything else off the bike. Invest in one. Batteries. Do I remove the battery out of this particular bike? No. I have a battery tender. Don't use a battery charger. Don't use a trickle charger. Use a battery tender. 
This thing will test, it will desulfate, it will, it will keep your battery charged, it will look after it for you all winter long. Several ways of having this. You can get one that just has battery clamps connected right up to your battery. You can get ring connectors that you attach right directly to your battery and you can keep it there all year. Um, for me, I have a cigarette lighter adapter and I put it in my cigarette lighter outlet right here and I'll just leave it run all winter with that. Very good investment to have. They're not expensive. Pick one up. Well, that's pretty well it in a nutshell. And remember, everybody's got their way of doing it. There is no right way. There is no extreme wrong way. If you feel better doing it, that's all that counts. Do it the way you like, the way you feel better, the way you can sleep at night. And don't worry about what everybody else says. This is how I do it. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button and uh, it will really help me out a lot. I love making videos and uh, the more subscribers I have, the better it makes me feel and I will make more videos. So thanks very much. Have a good day.